What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. I have some very exciting news for you all today after two long abiding years for applying to be the next PvP community game developer. It finally happened guys, check it out. Yeah, that's uh, that's our rejection layer, but don't worry, we're not going to let that get us down in the dumps. At least they finally responded. We're still going to do our due diligence, and we're going to go through the toxic PvP community forums and pick every single issue we can, and we're going to address it as if we are the PvP community manager. Who knows? Maybe Gillian will see this and be like, you know what? Warcrux, this is the job for you. Let's begin. Welcome back guys and before we embark on this noble and glorious quest to doing what the PvP devs should be doing, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat. The support you guys provide is absolutely amazing. Thank you all so very much. Okay guys, so I do have some juicy topics here in the forums now. Not everything is a bunch of cesspool, toxic, near duel, like apes being mad at each other and whining, complaining about the, the nitty gritty of the game okay there's actually some really good points that are on the forums that i i'm just going to bring to light just give some attention to some of these are gonna be a little bit comical some of these you're gonna agree with some of them you're not but the very first one i want to talk about and this is why i brought up last year was the Valken scoria bug so this is a post by deuce jr now whether you guys know this or not there is an exploit in the game which i should be showing you on your screen here momentarily possibly some background footage to where you can actually write a simple script and stack Valken Scoria meatballs. Because of this bug that is in the game right now, just due to this bug, you can infinitely stack these meteors. And then with a simple touch of a button, you can boop, one shot whoever you want. So Deuce Jr. is going over about this bug, about how you see the meatball area of effect. This has been in the game for probably two years now. I'm not sure uh, exactly what patch it was. But it will say it's proccing, you'll feel your controller vibrate, you know, and nothing will happen. So this is a bug that's, you know, been in the game and it's very, very exploitable. And I'm hoping this video will bring some light to this. That's why I started it first. Now, hopefully you guys share this video and share this bug once again. And if we can get Zoss to do something about it. Now, this does still persist to this day. I tried it right before this video. It's still just as potent as ever. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you how to do it because I... I'll probably get banned to be honest with you guys <laughs> so i'm definitely not going to do it but the, there's a bug out there if you guys know how to do it please for the love of god do not share it hit me up in discord we can talk about it so what i'm going to do as a pvp dev i'm just going to completely ignore deuce jr here until it becomes an issue in the game this is this is the mindset of the pvp devs until there's is a metric shit ton of people crying about on the forums crying about in the streams getting one shot all over it. until it happens to gilliam and battlegrounds nothing will get done with this so what am I going to do as a PvP dev? Uh, fucking nothing. So sorry, Deuce Jr. Uh, we're not going to be able to look into this today. Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it, okay? Okay, guys, so the next forum post is actually Future Quality of Life Updates by NB underscore Rich. This is Nightblade Rich, and this stands for Nightblade. Fuck you very much. So let's kind of go over and read what you have to say. All right, so the very first point that we have here, make a mount upgrades account wide. Uh, why would we do that we're making a lot of money off time gating the rate at which you can upgrade your horse if we make it to where it takes you literally one third of a year to fully max out your horse like we're just gonna lose money so of course we're not gonna make this account wide we have people who have 18 characters on one account and then they have several other characters with 18 other accounts so think about that for a second they have to max out because you know they're elitist you know they're making like 200k a year they have nothing better to do but to blow money on this game and increase their amount speed so of course they're not going to wait one third of a year all right they're going to go to the crown store which is conveniently placed every single time you log in you have a pop-up for the crown store it's kind of getting you in the habits of visiting the crown store knowing where things are at you know so uh why would we do that we're waking, making way too much money off you guys sorry your next point, make way Shire's account wide. Um, oh, okay, I actually agree with this one. You know, non, non ironically, um, I do think way Shire should be account wide. Like, nothing's worse than making a new character and like you you can't travel to where you need to go, so you have to get a buddy for the the next forty five minutes to an hour to teleport you to like two different locations in each continent to where you're not playing running simulator with your very very slow horse, mind you, unless you paid upgraded. 
Last option here by Nightblade underscore Rich. Have the option to skip straight to CP if we already have a CP level 50 or lower. Yeah, we can definitely do that. The cost of, I don't know, 5,000 crowns. And then I actually go down a little bit here, just kind of see uh, what everyone agrees. So we have we have Jad, Eleven, Mumbler here. Personally, I dislike all of these suggestions. I would hate to see them added. I like having to do them again on a different character. <laughs> I can't, dude. I can't. <laughs> okay, so the next forum post is titled PVPs Don't Matter. And this is by On Godi Do This. On Godi Do This. On Godi Do This. I... I'm sure there's some play on words. I'm not getting it. So uh, this is a post about how PvP doesn't matter. And uh, you're absolutely right. Until we hear at the PvP developer team, until we figure out a way to monetize PvP, you know, with new maps, customizable maps, maybe, I don't know, 5,000 crowns. So you can have custom playlists and battlegrounds. And we are not going to give an absolute dog shit about you PvP players, because quite frankly, you guys whine and bitch and complain about every little thing we do. So the last thing we're going to do is give the PvP community any quality of life issues whatsoever. We are going to change the meta in the way that we see fit. We talk with our PVE dev team every single day and we try to correlate with them on whatever their PVE needs are and we just kind of compromise that over into PVP. Instead of dissociating PVE from PVP for balancing purposes, I, we rather keep them the same just so we're still chasing our tail every single day just so we have justification to have job security act like we're actually doing something. That's why we try to reinvent the wheel every single fucking patch. All right, so the next thread we're gonna go over, and this is actually what I wanna take serious for a second, guys. If you haven't already, please like and sub to the video if you wanna see more content like this, where I do like a weekly by weekly thing, going through all the community posts and just seeing what people have to say and see if we can actually do anything about it on our side. More than likely, we're not going to because most of us are underpaid interns and we don't give a damn. So with that being said, I am frustrated with the state of this game. So this is a by a Valeria. So this is actually a well thought out, written, perfect forum post that I have never seen the likes of in my entire life. Now, this is not in the PVP uh, forum section, and this is probably why it's not in the PVP forum section, because you guys are a bunch of fucking animals who don't know basic English or grammar, okay? So, this, if you guys want to take the time to read it, uh, again, uh, this is, uh, I, I can put a link to this one, actually. Um, essentially, um, this is a veteran player who has played this game for so long, and it has got to the point to where the vocal minority completely controls the game. So being a PvP developer and content creator here on YouTube, I actually know everything there is to know about PvP. Every single line item that we have on the PTS is 100% intended and calculated. And trust us guys, it is going to benefit you in the long run. Just let us play the game that we want to play it. We want to bring down the ceiling. We want to bring up the floor to where everyone's on equal playing base and no one has an advantage over anyone else, okay? And again, on a serious note, from a PvP perspective, um, this is a, a role player who really loves the game. And uh, they're kind of talking about PvP a little bit and then just the, the, the game in general, how it's been so dumbed down over the years. And uh, that's how we like it here at Zoss, okay? Uh, the dumber, the better. The more money we can quench out of the average player base, the better, okay? So our entire business model is to make it to where average players who spend a lot of money, aka snowflakes we call them, spend a lot more money in the game than veteran PvP players or veteran PvE players because you guys know the game, you know the business model, you're not dropping a fucking dime into this game. So we have to attract all these newer players and make it seem like they have a, a snowball's chance in hell to compete with top PvE and PvP players. So that's why we're doing this squish system to where most people are on an equal playing field and they don't feel so overwhelmed that they just quit the game. So the longer we can keep you guys attracted into the game with proc sets, events, you know, seemingly free stuff in the crown store, the better. And to end on a summary of what Valeria said here, it was actually a really good forum post. I just wrap up my thoughts that this game is extremely frustrating and I and many players are tired of it. Between sledgehammer changes, yep, reinventing the wheel. That's what we do here at Zoss. Damage reductions without adjusting contents. Yeah, we just kind of make changes. So we have this dartboard that we, we literally have PvP changes, PvE changes, and we spin this motherfucker and we have a dartboard and we throw it and whatever it lands on, whatever numerical value it lands on, that's what we do. We have Karen over here taking bets to see what numerical value it's going to land on. It, it's a really good time. So 
constant developer and micromanagement of things that don't need to be micromanaged. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, who's going to micromanage it if, if we're not going to micromanage it? I mean, the last thing we want to do is give power to the player base of ESO. Like, God forbid you guys ever be able to create your own battlegrounds. God forbid you guys ever be able to create your own house to where you can have open world PvP. Nah, 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 nah. You'll leave all those changes to us. We will have you under our thrones just so we have you in our complete control. Arbitrary changes and arbitrary design philosophies. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, a bunch of interns have some cool suggestions. I mean, I'm just sitting back Eat, eating my Skittles, eating my popcorn, got my belly, you know, all full. We just let them have at it, guys. It's a perfect storm all at once with update 35, and I and a lot of other people are exhausted with it. Well, sorry to see you go, Valeria, but your $15 ESO a month subscription is the same as a new player's $15 a month ESO subscription. We don't really care about our long-term PvP or PvE fan base, and there's no reason for us to keep you around because your money spends exactly the same. All right, the next forum post we have here is why is PvP so beginner unfriendly? And this is by Sleeping Owl. Well, I'm just going to tell you by the very first sentence of this, I'm a PvE vet, made a PvP build recently. Well, you're probably trash, okay? No offense. Actually, yeah, take offense to that. Mag DK, Trickery, Brain, Spellweave. Uh, this looks like something you Google from Dots, okay? Dots doesn't know what he's talking about. And let me let you on a little word of advice, Sleeping Owl. PvP is the true end game of ESO. So if you are struggling in PvP, this is just something you're going to have to learn. Like we all did the hard way, going in, getting shit on again and again and again and again and again. It's just going to happen. If you don't like it, just don't PvP. There's absolutely no incentive to PvP anyway, so why are you even here? Ah, oh, my brethren, Zos Susurial, Susurial, Susurial says, move this to a more subject appropriate channel. Well, this is a PvP discussion in a PvP community forum post thread. I think it's in the proper position. Ah, this next one's gonna be good. What are your thoughts about healing in PvP? This is community post by the Hero Cat. What do you guys think? Hmm. Let's go through some of the comments. So, as a PvP developer, it's very important for me to go through each and every comment and kind of sift out what we want to keep, what we want to act on, what kind of notes we need to make. So, let's go to the very first comment here by Buildman. As a healer, I should not be able to stack more than once. That's absurd. Why would I want three Radiant Regions stacked on top of me? That's that's just stupid. All right, so the next comment here is from Nord Sword and Board. So uh, his justification uh, for heals is more heals equals less casualties equals bigger player stacks. This is the last thing you want in Serial, so we're completely ignore your comment. Heals over time should not stack. Um, amen to that, brother. I'll talk to Gilliam about that as soon as possible. Like 25%, you know, Horcrux person suggests every person over two in your group, you should get a 10% healing done, debuff, and a 10% healing received debuff per person in your group up to 50%. Now, is that going to happen? Yeah, probably not. You want to know why? Because we need to keep all the Zerglings alive who actually play PvP and put money into the game. See, if they're dying all the time, we, we can't get that sweet, sweet nectar. Next comment is by Div Divini, the Divini, whatever. Cross heals are cancer, no arguing that. My opinion, healing is overtuned. Two bruisers can fight. Okay, this is not Final Fantasy. This is the Elder Scrolls Online. Get your terminology right, man. Healing should not be fully out healing damage. Solution, reduce healing at battle spirit and slightly reduce damage done at battle spirit. No, the proper fix to this that Horcrux YT has said many, many times, you cannot put your healing and your damage from the exact same stat pool. They cannot share it. You need to differentiate that to where if you want more damage, you got to sacrifice healing and vice versa. All right, so the next post we have here is why is damage so damn high by JZZ and JZY? So first of all, I can say right now, you did not play vanilla. So back in the day, you used to be able to put on proxy debt and hit people 45K, 50K proxy debts all the time. So when it comes to DK's web seating for eight, nine K, this is nothing. This shit used to be like 20, 30 K back in the day. I can guarantee it. The problem is people's health is too damn high for this game. So you actually have some of the lowest damage numbers you've ever seen. And yet people are still running around 35 K, 40 K health, still able to put out this kind of damage. So what needs to happen, there needs to be a squish to health, like just all around. Like people just have way too much Gosh darn health. Back in the day, if you had like 21k health on a Sork, that was high. 
Next forum boast changes I would love to see. So this is by Daisy Ray. Number one, please Zoss, remove the three facts and just keep it at two. No comment. Increase the number of guards and the crit resistance in PvP. Bro, I get packed up by the guards consistently. That is the last thing we need to be doing, dog. Suggestion number eight, can we please have group voice chat? Well, there is a console. Do you know why there's not group voice chats on PC? Because there are a bunch of racist KKK mofos in the Discord groups all the time. The last thing you want to hear is their antics in your area chat, okay? All right, so one of the last sections I want to go over here in the community post is actually undress exploits that devs will never address. Now, this is a thumbnail. If I saw this in a YouTube video title or a thumbnail, I would 110% click on this. So let's see what um, Bathynonymous ESO has to say. Animation canceling. The game changing exploit that gives two to three times DPS. Devs allow it completely and consider it a feature. Are you fucking kidding me? This is brilliant. We should completely remove animation canceling from the entire game. And you know what, guys? We should probably just remove bar swapping as well because, you know, having two bars is really unfair to people who just want to use one bar. And you know what? We actually have a mythic item just for you. All right, guys, that's all the community posts I have for you all today. Please join me next week. We're going to be doing the exact same type of thing. So if you enjoyed today's content, please like and sub and hit the notification button. And next one's going to be really, really juicy. I'm going to keep an eye out for some really, really thick and meaty posts in the PvP forums and zap. See what we can do about it. So until then, guys, take care. Have a great day and peace.